I, I didn't go to school or anything like that. I, all I did was art in high school. And then after that, I worked at a company called Art Jamming. And one day, the, um, what, did usually, what they do there at Art Jamming is that they, people come in, like kids and adults come in and paint on um, canvas and whatnot. But then one day, um, the, the mother brought their kids um, um, Tommy shoes and the kids were painting on them. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's an, it's an interesting thing. So then I was like, let me try that. Let me see what happens, like what it might look like and all that. Africa's first uh, sneaker talent expo came out of a uh, documentary that we did called Aishi Samwati. So what the documentary is about is covering what's happening in sneaker culture. And we picked up that we didn't really have much of involvement or participation within the sneaker economy um, yet there was talent that we sort of like discovered along the way in the past four years in which we were filming the docky so um, we then created a platform where we sort of like allowed these people to come and showcase their talent out of all the different talents within the sneaker industry we picked up that customizing was the one that really stood out I've been practicing and making visual arts for the past uh, maybe six years now. So what I currently do now is I am a product customizer. That entails that I customize all kinds of products from sneakers to hats to fridges to bicycles uh, to textiles. As, as a fine artist or a visual artist, you learn to work in all those fields in order to be a true artist and not a designer or a pattern maker, so I'm an all-round artist. We just found it a great way to help, help the local artists, local talent get involved with an international brand, but they're here in South Africa. Um, we've got seven super good concept stores around the country and we let the guys use it as a platform for them to showcase their art. So a lot of customers come in, buy their shoes from us, um, they then get in touch with the graffiti artist, the graffiti artist comes, picks it up and obviously then drops it back at our store for the, for the customer, but it's been a, a great success in our, in our company actually to be working with these guys. Well, sneaker culture is growing exponentially in, um, in South Africa. I mean, since we've been uh, doing it since about 2006 and it was just a core group of sneaker heads and now it's reached into the mainstream and now we've got thousands of people really interested in the culture trying to collect, trying to buy. So looking forward to see, seeing what's going to happen in the future with, uh, with this very interesting, very exciting. We at the Mail and Garden Friday section are always looking for fresh talent, always looking out for young artists who are out there to put South Africa on the map. And this exhibition is no exception.